Right, hey, Grey Elevens. I'm going to go through a fixed asset question with you. Um, and as my previous videos I've done, I'm just going to highlight the answers in yellow as I go through it. Don't worry about the other figures. We'll get to those when we get to those. Okay, so the question here out of 45 marks firstly says you are provided with a partially completed note to the balance sheet of Ling Long Traders on the 28th of February 2016. And the required is we first going to complete the fixed asset note at the end of the year. You're going to do the asset disposal account to record the sale of the equipment. And there's a little theoryish question for eight marks as well. Okay, so if we look at the answer book, you'll see that the bold figures are the figures we were given. Okay, so like those two figures we were given, those two figures we were given, and uh, that one there we were given. Okay, and pretty much that was it. Okay, so before we even get to the question, we can know well, we know for sure that the opening cost price for land and buildings without reading anything would have been 1.8, simply because we know there's no accumulated, right? We can work out that the opening accumulated for vehicles would have been 920,000. Yeah, is that right? Maybe I'm missing a zero there. 920,000. Why? Because we know that the carrying value was 160. Bear in mind also, 160,000 carrying value is quite small. We have therefore depreciated our vehicles quite a bit. There's not much left to depreciate, so bear that in mind. And we know the opening accumulated for equipment would have been 540,000 cost minus accumulated. So one, two, three marks, and we haven't even read the question yet. Right, so now let's go to the question. Additional information says, depreciation is written off as follows. Vehicles at 15% on cost price, equipment 20% on diminishing balance. Okay, during the year, an invoice was received from Pegasus wholesalers for the following. Repairs of 12,000 and a garage built for 50,000. The full amount had incorrectly been debited to repairs. Okay, so from reading adjustment two, you should realize that the garage that we've built of 50,000 Rand should have been an addition to land and buildings. The repairs, we don't mind about that. It's going to be an expense to repairs, so that's fine. But here it is in land and buildings, 50,000 Rand as an addition, and that's it for land and buildings. The closing cost and the closing carrying value will therefore be 1850. Done with land and buildings, one, two, three, four marks in the bag. The next bullet point, number three, is where it heats up a bit. A new bucky was bought on credit for, well, for 180000 on the 1st of November 2015. Okay, so important to note that we've bought this vehicle during the year. The owner also paid for the installation of a sound system costing 12000 and the license of 540. Think carefully now. Of those two additional payments, only the one hundred, the, the 12,000 will be added to the cost of the, the bucky. So in other words, the full cost of this bucky is now 192,000. The 540,000 would just be an expense that we would expense under vehicle expenses or license or something like that. So the new bucky here is going to be a purchase of 192,000. So we go to vehicles. Additions, 192,000, two marks. The next one says on the 31st of August, okay, so before I get to number four, which deals with equipment, I'm going to complete the vehicles column. So what do we need to do? There's no disposal of vehicle because this disposal here is about equipment and we'll never dispose two things. So for vehicles, we're going to have to depreciate vehicles. We are going to depreciate the old vehicles as well as the new vehicle. So the new vehicle vehicle is easy to start with. It cost us 192,000. We are told that vehicles depreciates at 15% on cost. And if we bought it on the 1st of November and our year ends at the end of February, that means November, December, January, February, four out of 12 months worth of depreciation. Did you get 9,600 Rand? That is the depreciation on the new vehicle. And in brackets on this calculation, there is the 9,600. For the old vehicles, old vehicles were the 100 or the 10, 80,000 at the start of the year. Remember, if we are going to depreciate the opening vehicles of 1,080,000 ,000, times them by the vehicle's rate of 15%, we're going to get 162,000. However, we can only depreciate the old vehicles up to 159 
999. Why? Because that would mean that the old vehicles would be left at a carrying value of 1 Rand. We can't over depreciate. That's why the second part of this depreciation line is 159999. I'm going to put in brackets or I'm going to say there's old and there is new. Okay, so together the depreciation on vehicles totaled 169599 in brackets like so. And to close the last bit of this column, our total cost at the end of the year would simply have been 1080 plus the 192, so 1272. And the closing accumulated would have been the opening accumulated of 920 plus the 169599. Now we end off with a carrying value of 212401. Okay, now we move to the equipment, which is a bit more difficult because it has this disposal. It says, on the 31st of August 2015, equipment was traded in against new equipment, which cost 240000 at a loss of 12160 The equipment was trade that was traded in was bought on the 1st of March. I'm just going to change this now to 2013. That's what it should have been. Okay, for 160000 Okay, so we have got the five-step process that we need to follow here. And it's made a little bit more difficult because there is a trade-in. So, step one, and we're going to go to our asset disposal, is to transfer the cost of this equipment to asset disposal. The original cost of this equipment, it says here, was 160000 So, we're going to take out the 160 from equipment and put it to the debit side of asset disposal. There it is. Step two is to record depreciation up to the date of sale. Equipment is depreciated at 20% per annum on the diminishing balance method. Now, because we do not know what the opening accumulated is on this particular piece of equipment, we need to go back and work out the depreciation on this equipment since we bought it. So if we bought it on the 1st of March 2013, there have been two years of having this equipment until we started this year. So for the first year, we would say 160,000 times 20%, and the first year's depreciation on this, on this equipment would have been 32,000, right? For the second year, because we are on diminishing balance, we will first have to say the cost of this equipment, 160,000, minus 32,000, the depreciation we've already processed last year, times now the 15, or sorry, the 20%, and we're going to get 25,600. There it is there. That is the depreciation for the second year. Now we are up to date at the start of this year. And we have depreciated a total of 32,000 plus 25,600. A total of 57,600 in the past on this piece of equipment. So up to the date of sale, if we sold it on the 1st of November and our year starts on the 1st of March, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. That is a further eight months. We won't count November because we started, we tra traded it in on the 1st. So eight months up until the date of sale. So first of all, 160,000 minus the previous uh, answer which we had was the total accumulated of 57, what is it, 57,600 gives you the carrying value at the start of the year of 102,400. If we times that now by 20%, right, we get to 202480, 20, but it's now important to times by the number of months. Remember, if our year started on the 1st of March, March, April, May, June, July, August, okay, I think I read the wrong date here, we sold it on the 31st of August. So that would mean a six months until we sold the vehicle. So we times that by six over 12 and we get 10, 240. There it is there. Okay, this is tough few marks here, but follow carefully. I hope you understand. That is step three, the 10, 240 depreciation up to the date of sale. And I'm going to put it in green because it's for this year. Step three of our five-step process is to transfer accumulated to asset disposal. So that's where I now add the 32, the 25600, and the 10240, and I get 67840. Right? That's the total accumulated relating to this piece of equipment. Right? 
At this stage, we can work out the carrying value of the equipment we sold. How much? 160, the cost, minus 67840, the accumulated. So the carrying value of the disposal, which is what goes to our notes here in our fixed asset note, there it is. Disposals, and I should write here at carrying value, right, will be 92160. How did we get that again? It was the 162, sorry, the 160,000 minus the 67840. That gives you the 9, what, 92160. It's in brackets because it's reducing the worth of our equipment, right? Step four of our question is to process the proceeds. We are not given how much the, the people gave us for this old equipment. We were only told that it was sold at a loss of 1260. That means, if you look carefully, that we're first going to say loss on sale of asset, step five of 12160. Therefore, the missing figure here is 80,000. In other words, they are going to give us 80,000 Rand as payment for the equipment we're giving them. Okay, the contra account is creditors control, and it's important to realize that this 80,000 would be a reduction of the price of the new equipment we are buying. Okay, so that now closes off the asset disposal account, which now balances and totals at 160,000, and it served its purpose. It's done. Okay, the next step, just to finish off your fixed asset notes, would be to process the additions. We have got ourselves a new piece of equipment of 240000 Do we still need to pay the 240000 No. How much do we actually owe on this new equipment? We only owe 160000 because the 240 was reduced by the 80,000 Rand that we got for the old one. Okay, so the last step to do is the depreciation on equipment. We now have got old sold and new equipment for the sold we've already worked out that 10240 rands worth of depreciation would have been calculated to record the depreciation on the sold equipment so i'm going to put sold there for the new equipment that was valued at 240000 the depreciation on equipment is 20% and if we bought it on the 31st of august it means that September, October, November, December, January, and February, six out of 12 months would have been depreciated. That calculation is going to give you a further 24,000, which I'm going to put in brackets there, new. Okay. The hardest part is to record the depreciation on the old equipment. Okay. Now listen carefully for this. When we depreciate the old remaining equipment, we can't re-depreciate the sold item. So, how much cost of equipment was there at the start of the year, the old stuff? If you say that the opening cost was 900000 it would be wrong because we have already dealt with the cost of the equipment that we have sold. So, 900000 would firstly have to be reduced by the 160000 rand piece of equipment that we have sold and dealt with already. So 900,000 minus 160,000 leaves you with the remaining old equipment of 740,000. Okay. Then how much opening accumulated related to the old equipment? Well, there was already 360,000 at the start of the year for opening accumulated. However, of that 360,000, there was 32,000 as well as 25,600, which related to the opening balance of this equipment that we've dealt with already. So, by minusing those two figures away from the 360,000, we are going to be left with a remaining balance of 302,400. This is now the opening accumulated relating to the old stuff. So, now we go 740,000 minus 302,400, giving us the carrying value, times that by the depreciation of 20%, and we hopefully are going to get the correct answer. So, let's do that. 740,000 
minus 302400 equals 437600 times 20%. And we're going to get 87520. There it is there, sadly with only two marks. And that's the depreciation on the old equipment that's been around the whole year. So now adding those three pieces of depreciation, we get 121760, which I'm going to put in brackets over there, 121760. Almost done. The last step is to record our closing balances. The closing cost price of 980, how do we get that? We take the opening 900, we plus the 240, the new thing we bought. Sorry, there, the new thing we bought. And then we'd have to minus the cost of the equipment we got rid of, the 160. That's how we get the 980. In a similar fashion, how do we get the 413920? We would take the opening accumulated, 360,000. We would add all the depreciation for the year of 121760, and then we would minus this accumulated of 67840, the depreciation on the equipment we got rid of. Lastly, cost minus accumulated gives you the closing carrying of 566080. Okay, and we are done with the fixed asset note. The last parts there were a bit more confusing, so be careful. The last part, 3.348 marks, the owner is not happy that the equipment was sold at a loss. The market value indicates that he should have received 110,000 Rand. Provide two reasons why the loss was incurred and suggest two measures that could be taken in future to avoid such losses. Okay, so let's just look at the solution here. And we could say things like this. The reasons for not getting what he could have got, the equipment was not properly maintained. Maybe it wasn't in good condition. Maybe the depreciation that he's using, the rate, is not realistic. Maybe he could adjust the way he's doing his depreciation. Some suggestions he could use going forward, have a maintenance plan, right, to make sure that he keeps up to date with his services of his, of his equipment, and then determine an appropriate depreciation method. I'm sure there's any other valuable, valid reasons. You're welcome to suggest alternative answers, but those, I guess, are the most obvious. Okay, I hope this question made sense to you. There were some tricks in it, um, but I hope you have learned through the process. Okay, all the best for your next activity. We'll chat again soon.